Welcome back to day two of bagels and cream cheese. We're going to start today by draining the cream cheese and then we'll go on to baking the bagels. Um, here if we can look in this pot, you can see it's all set up and pulled away from the edge. This is a layer of cream on the top here. See that? I told you it was creamy. Um, so we're going to scoop all of this out into a cheesecloth lined colander and let it drain for about six hours and then we'll come back and salt it. But again, I don't want to get the yeast in this, so I'm going to do this part first. Meanwhile, I have the oven preheated to 500 degrees and I have a pot of water here to boil our bagels. So let's get this drained and we'll go get those out of the refrigerator. Um, our bagels have been sitting in the refrigerator overnight now. And we'll see what, what we end up with. I'm also going to get some poppy seeds and sesame seeds out to put on those. Because I like seeded bagels. So tuck the ends up over. And we'll go set that back on the table to let drain. I'll be right back with our bagels. We have our water boiling and our bagels out of the refrigerator, and I hope we did this right. Um, I'm almost afraid I should have used a stiffer dough, but it's our first time doing this, so bear with us. Um, it says to put them in the boiling water and let them boil one minute on each side or two minutes on each side for a chewier bagel and then transfer them to our parchment lined uh, baking sheets and we can put the seeds on then. I've got my son over here with the assembly line while he's hiding but um, to put the seeds on for me trying to make this go a little faster. So I'm going to take our bagels and hopefully they'll poof up when we put them in here. So here's one, two, it says it should boil or they should float within 10 seconds which obviously they did there. And let me count down a minute. All right, let's flip these and give them another minute. Well, they look like they poofed a little bit when you threw them in the boiling water. I set the timer just a tad late, so I'm going to give them another second here. Oops, stop it. I hit cancel, but it's ignoring me. Okay, let's go drain these and move them over to the parchment. And I'm really afraid these should have poofed more. I wonder if I shouldn't let them warm up and rise some. Cole, would you get the seeds on them? I guess we'll see how they turn out when they come out of the oven, huh? These are all boiled. It's time to throw them in the oven. I almost wish we'd let them poof a little bit out of the refrigerator, but I'm following the directions, so um, we're going to throw these in for five minutes, and then after five minutes, we're going to rotate the pans and reduce the heat to 450 degrees. It's supposed to be at 500, but it was not holding right for me. There we go. So, five minutes. All right, really thinking I should have let these rise a little bit before I boiled them. But the recipe didn't say to, so can you see that? They're just not quite as poofy as I would like. I hope they end up tasting good. 
But live and learn. It's the first time we've done this. Turn that off, let these cool for a minute, and then I'll slice one and we'll see what we think. All right, so here's the verdict. They just didn't poof well. They didn't rise well. I mean, they're, they're good. What the directions should have said was to, after you took them out of the refrigerator this morning, let them rise and poof well before you threw them in the boiling water. Um, and you can see they're just a little, I mean, I think I did a good job with the flour amount. And the flavor is great, and they're nice and chewy on the outside. They just needed to rise there. So, live and learn, now we know. I'll be back when the cream cheese is ready. This has been draining for several hours now. Uh, it's just time to salt it. I'm gonna put about three teaspoons of salt on here. And I'm just estimating this. And mix it in there real well. And you see it's a little softer than Philadelphia cream cheese or whatever. Um, but when it gets refrigerated and cooled down, it's going to set up even more. So I'm going to whip it a little bit. I don't want a whole lot of air in there, but I want a nice smooth texture for out, throughout and the uh, salt mixed in real well. And we have bagels and cream cheese. Thank you for watching.